All right, so today we're in section 3.4, page 123, page 123 in your books, box and whisker plots. Um, you do need to know some terms from this section. You need to know that a box and whisker plot divides data into how many parts? Four parts, and we'll look at that in a second. So you find the what first? You find the median of the data first. Then, once you find the median, that divides your data into the lower and upper quartiles, and you have to find the median of those uh, groups of numbers as well. Then you find your lower and your upper extreme. So you need to know what each one of those are. So take a minute to write those down. Okay, so let's see what this actually looks like. All right, in example one, um, I have this uh, set of data, and look, I already put it in order for you, least to greatest. So go ahead and write these numbers down. All right, so now let's find the median, okay? Now, what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to make, uh, d don't cross out the numbers. I just want you to make, like, little tick marks. Oh, and what did I do? I crossed out the numbers. Um, yes. All right, so we're just going to make little tick marks above the numbers, okay? So we're going outside to inside, 60 and 70 are my middle numbers, so I take the average. 60 plus 70 divided by 2 is? Which is 65, okay? So 65 is my median. Do you see how I got that? Okay, took the average of the middle two numbers. So now all the numbers below 65 are my lower quartile. And all the numbers above 65 are my upper quartile my lower quartile and my upper quartile. So now you need to find the median of your lower and upper quartile. So go ahead and do that. Okay, so what's the median of your lower quartile? 42 and a half. What's the median of your upper quartile? 78. Now all that's left is that you need to find your lower and upper extremes and that's simply your lowest number and your highest number. Okay, and now you have You've identified all the data you need to out of the numbers. So now you're ready to set up your box and whisker plot. You're going to draw a number line. Okay? And on your number line, you need to look at, so you just make up the numbers. We go 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and that's our number line. How do I know what numbers to put on my number line? I use the numbers in my data set. So I look at my lowest number, and my number line needs to start just below that. So start at 30. And where do you think it needs to end? 100. 110, probably, right? Just a little bit above the 100. Okay, so we're going to count by twos. We're going to go 30, 32, 34. No, no we'll we even count by fives. No, because no, fives is, is going to be way too uh, big, too. We're going to count by tens. All right, so 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, go ahead and fill in your number line. So now you're going to plot points where your lower extreme is. So your lower extreme is at 35. So do a point below the number line, not on it, but below the number line, right between that 30 and 40, plot a point for the lower extreme. Then you're going to plot a point for your lower quartile median, which is about 42 and a half. Then for your actual median, which is 65. Then for your upper quartile medium, 78. And then for your upper extreme, which is 100. So plot those points beneath the number line where they go on the number line. All right, now last but not least, I need to draw a box. So this is where the box part comes from in our box and whisker. I need to draw a box around my medians. And notice that my point is right in the middle. Okay, so it's not in the upper or lower part. It's right in the middle. And then I draw a line through the true median. Then my whiskers go out to my extremes, out to my lower and my upper extremes. And there you have it, a box and whisker plot. We're going to do your turn now, number one, on page 124. Your turn now, number one. The first thing you need to do is what? Put the numbers in order from least to greatest. 
Now it's up to you. It might be easier just to write down the numbers how they are and then put them in order because you can cross them out on your paper and put them in order. Or you can put them in order from the beginning. Just make sure you're not forgetting a number. Make sure you count and make sure that the number of numbers you have matches up because that is a bummer. Guys, listen, I have it happen every year where kids leave out one number. You leave out one number, and guess what? Your whole box of whisker plot is wrong. So make sure that you don't leave out any numbers when you're putting them in order from least to greatest. All right, so hopefully we put the numbers in order, least to greatest. So check those. All right, then what is my median? What's my median? What's the median, guys? Y'all aren't even there yet? Okay, whoa, 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 no. The median is... Do the little tick marks. No. 468. 467 and 469 are in the middle. So I take their average. I add them and divide by 2. 468 is my median. All right, now what do you do? Find your lower and upper quartile medians. Okay, so find your lower and upper quartile medians. Um, have y'all gotten that far yet? Okay, so go ahead and find those and then find your extremes. So what's my lower quartile median? 415. What's my upper quartile median? 501 and a half. Okay, then my lower and upper extremes, 302 and 746. Now here's a big question. What numbers go on my number line? Am I going to go by 10s? No. Oh, am I even going to go by 20s? No. I'm going to go by 50s. Let's go by 50s. If you want to go by 20s, you can. It's just your number line is going to be huge. All right, so let's go by 50s. Now I want you to plot your points. Okay, so points go on my lower extreme and my medians. What did I forget? Did I forget something? What did I forget? Oh, I forgot the line through the true median. All right, does yours look pretty similar to that? Yes. All right, okay, so we're going to do one more. One more, and you're going to do it all on your own. No help. Number five on page 125. Number five on page 125. All right, so did you get the numbers in order, at least the greatest? Check it. All right, now what is, what is the median? What's the median? Tell me. 68. What's the lower quartile median? It should be 41. What's the upper quartile median? 88. And then you've got your extremes. Um, what intervals did you do your number line by? Ten. Tens. So 30, 40, 50, 60. Oh, I five. Fives is okay. Um, then you should have plotted your points. Draw on your box. Did yours look like that? Raise your hand if yours looks like that. All right. Awesome, guys. If you understand that, that's everything you need to know for 3.4.